Hey guys, Total 5 here with episode number 16, 16 of the Bryson Career Mode on FIFA 21. We're kicking this episode off by signing up one of our youngsters from the Youth Academy. It is Ethan Edwards from Wales. He's a striker, 60 overall. We're going to train him up. We're going to give him a few games this season and hopefully he can progress. And maybe even by the end of the season become a rotational striker on the likes with Connolly and... Uh, Maybe even next season, push into the first team. Do a bit of a Marcus Rashford, maybe. Burst onto the scene. But he will be starting his debut game here today against Huddersfield, away from home in the Carabao Cup. Now, big, big game for himself. We're at the Kirklees Stadium. Obviously, Huddersfield have their real stadium in the game. They were in the Premier League a few seasons ago. Never really bounced back up into it, but they do seem to have a dangerous opposition. We are playing a... Slightly rotated team out there. We've got a couple of the first team boys out. But the first chance does come for themselves. And Sanchez. Sanchez, Sanchez, Sanchez. He was our first team keeper last season for the first half. I mean, he's coming to this one against Huddersfield. And he's conceded in the first half. And, this, you know, not many chances were created in that game. Really unlucky there from Edwards. Hits the crossbar with his first proper chance. And, you know, un unfortunate. Look at that. Always just kept rising, unfortunately, for himself. Couldn't quite find his first goal of the club. But Conley turns one way, turns back inside. An incredible little goal for the Irishman. And we are back on another terms. 60 minutes played. We've got half an hour to find a second and not concede and go through the easy way. If we can't do that, as you can see the minutes dying down, we will be forced to go to penalties as Conley. Looking to get his second goal of the game. A little one-two between himself and Edwards. He's going to dink it back inside Edwards to be the hero. It's not the tallest. Is Edwards. And we are going to penalties first one. Sonogo dinks it. Saved by Sanchez. Up next, Connolly. The man that scored in the game scores. So we have the advantage. Bakuna hits the post. Edwards. Can he slot his home? Yes, he can. 2-0. Two, 2-1 two, they score there. As Oxlade Chamberlain came on. During the game, and it is a poor penalty. Easily saved by the keeper. But we're still winning. We just need to tuck this one home by Solly March. And he puts it over. Throws away our advantage. Thankfully, though, if we score this, we go through. McAllister steps up. We're a bit cocky there. I do I do apologise. We're a bit cocky there. But Ashley Young, bottom left, tucks it home. Critchlow scores. Lewis Dunk, the captain, Scores a nice, quite nice penalty actually as well. O'Brien, or O'Brien, tucks it home. Adorabayo, going to go right down the middle, keep it safe. Maybe too safe because the keeper saw it out and we do lose to Huddersfield in the first round of the Carabao Cup on penalties. Very embarrassing. But we've got to shake it off. And then there's always one team we play when we want to get revenge. And it's Burnley. It's not the first time this has happened where we've been knocked out of a cup we've had a big defeat and then we go and play Burnley happened in the semi-final of the FA Cup last year it's happening here today as two minutes in the first chance comes our way as Tariq Lamperty tried to just lay it across to Tam he didn't quite work out as Nick Pope all six foot seven of him just dives onto the ball but it showed our intent and well with Trossard charging through on goal 15 minutes into the game he strikes it across really nice little finish there into the back of the net the Belgian he's been our best player these past few seasons and he does make it 1-0 to Brighton against Burnley. Continuing our fine form in the league. We've been really good in the league. Really unfortunate in the cup though. And obviously in the Europa League. We started off with a win in the previous episode as well. But Burnley coming down our side with line lanes. The I think he's the Mexican winger. Almost has the ball on Ashley Barnes's head. But it is just wide off the post. We've got another chance here as Ben White threads one down to Tyreek Lamperty. He's got men arriving in the box late. One of them is going to be at the back post. And one of them is going to be Alex Oxlade Chamberlain. Doubling our lead. The man from Liverpool. I believe that's his first goal for us since joining from Liverpool. So congratulations to him for scoring his first Brighton goal. But we're not done there. 33 minutes into the game. We're going to create another chance here as Malpe holds off the ball. Eric Dyer playing for Burnley. You know, Burnley seemed like a really Eric Dyer type team. But Malpe, across goal, tried to put it through the legs of Nick Pope. Goes for the second and is wide off the post. But our French striker does not give up that easily. You know, he's 
He's one of those strikers that just doesn't stop pestering the defence. But in the third, uh, sorry, in the second half, the first chance is one for Burnley as Tossin goes in for a a pretty poor challenge, um, and it is going to be a penalty. Now we've well, lost in penalties in the previous game. Sam Johnson goes and proves to me why he should have been in the first team for that last game. Makes the save on the penalty, and we do live to fight another day with the clean sheet still intact. Ten minutes remaining in this one. Trossard just threads it through to Aaron Connolly. Got a goal in the previous game. What can he do here against Burnley? Well, he charges out wide, draws the defender out, allows for Tammy Abraham in the middle to be open, to be free, and to just scissor kick that one into the back of the net. 3-0 to ourselves against Burnley. Aaron Connolly as an impact sub is absolutely brilliant. I'll give you that. If you need a young, like a young striker with a bit of pace... Aaron Connolly is the man you want to sign. But we're not done there. Five minutes remain. Can we get a fourth? Well, Trossard on the ball. Goes for the strike. Trying to just drill it into that top right-hand corner. Didn't quite work out. Didn't quite dip enough. But we are 3-0 victors. We are three points added to our tally in the table. And we're kind of, I feel like, this season, pushing harder than we did last year. Um, even with the extra competition in the Europa League. We're pushing really, really hard. And against Slavia Prague, this final game of the episode, really unfortunate there from McAllister. Obviously got a few goals in the previous episode in our first game in the Europa League. Trying to get another one here, but it didn't quite work out. It was well saved, and unfortunately, Tammy couldn't quite get to the rebound from the keeper of McAllister. Once again, he's been our talisman in the Europa League. Plays it off to Ryan Sessignon, and it is an incredible, incredible finish from the young wing back in what a goal very similar to the one he scored against Southampton and he's already got a few goals for us this season which is brilliant to see and we are 1-0 to the good going into the second half of the game and I think this is probably the easiest tie in the group maybe the one against Mulder was easier um, but no, sorry, this is the most difficult one in the group, should I say. Slavia Prague or Azel Alkmaar, I'm not sure who's the better of the two. Uh, but we are 2-0 up against Slavia Prague here with McAllister getting the goal. Um, I'd probably go with Azel Alkmaar as being the the tougher of the two. But there are no pushovers, Prague. They, they pushed us right to the end in this game. Thankfully, we did get the second goal with McAllister. But that is going to be that for this game. A 2-0 victory for ourselves. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please like, subscribe and peace.